Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon and you're watching Mon Comics. Uh, today we are doing an unboxing of a mystery box that I got from a fellow community member. Uh, Tessa is a nerd. Uh, she puts together what I have heard is fire mystery boxes, so I went ahead and purchased one. But I'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, if you guys uh, are first time viewers, I'd appreciate your support if you hit subscribe, like, hang out with me on this comic journey. And it helps the algorithm a lot, helps the channel if you just do those simple things. And you can also follow me over on Instagram uh, under the same name, Mon Comics. We are well into spooky season and I have a ton of horror books. I am debuting for 31 Days of Horror Comics. So come on over, follow me over there, and uh, let's get into this unboxing. Okay, so already packaged very well. I had the pleasure of meeting Tessa at uh, Terrificon. A uh, wonderful person. She is highly involved in the comic world. She runs three comic shops. She makes awesome content both on YouTube and Instagram. And um, I bought this for a couple of reasons. One, I heard that uh, her mystery boxes are just awesome. They're, they're fire and people love them. But the bigger reason is that a portion of these proceeds uh, are going towards um, Comics Will Break Your Heart. A community member by the name of Jen. Been a massive fundraising effort. She's been uh, going through cancer treatments. Uh, she lives out on the West Coast, I believe. Now, I've never met Jen, never talked to her. I have bought into a couple of raffles to support her and stuff, but this community is wonderful and it's amazing. And my dad always had a saying, if you can help, you should. Uh, so I wanted to, to not only support Jen, uh, support Tessa, and uh, I'll leave a link down below uh, from um, Comics with Bueller. Uh, it's a video he made called The Most Important Video He's Ever Made. Uh, I'll also put a link to Jen's GoFundMe down there if uh, you want to help out uh, someone. Anytime we can help people, it's just the right thing to do. Uh, so a couple good reasons to buy this mystery pack. So I've been waiting to open this. I've had this for like a couple weeks now. And... Um, Obviously, it packed and shipped very well, and I'm excited to get in here. I'm going to put any kind of pertinent information. I, I don't have cover price anymore, so I can't do fair market value. So maybe I'll do last sold on eBay so we can play along with the value of this. So not only did she have it in a Gemini mailer, uh, inside a uh, priority mailer, but it is nicely bagged up on the inside. She's not messed around. She, uh, like I said, she runs three comic shops. She makes great content. She is a reader so uh, let's get into this and she put oh this is cool little oh, postcard it's awesome oh it tells the value right on here gosh okay so i'll put those up when uh we're uh showing the books hey thank you so much for getting a mystery box you're the best uh for helping my friend i appreciate you so much i hope you love the books you got tessa Okay, so here is the first one. Ooh, nice. A trade paperback. And I am a huge Star Wars fan, and I love Thrawn as a villain. Uh, Grand Admiral Th Thrawn, uh, you know, he was uh, debuted in Ahsoka. Uh, his ties were back with the original Emperor, and it has Grand Moff Tarkin sitting in there. So awesome. I, I always love a trade paperback to add to the collection and something I can read. Uh, it doesn't tell what issue this is, or I don't know. I just can't wait to get into it. Looks awesome. That That's great. Fantastic. Okay, first comic. Ooh, Green Lantern, number 47. 12 center, great Gil Kane cover. Meet Dr. Polaris, the villain with the magnetic fists. I don't know if this is first appearance. I'll put it in a blurb down below, but... What a great cover. Now, I don't collect much DC. I think Green Lantern's a cool char character, but that is baller. And, uh, yeah, Silver Age Green Lantern. Look at the flames on the top of the trade dress. What a great book. All right, wow, fire start. Awesome. What do we got next? Oh, my gosh, Where Monsters Dwell, number six. Now, I actually already own this book, so maybe I'll use it in a giveaway or for trade fodder or Halloween show, which is coming up October 26th. Uh, so yeah, this reprints the first appearance of Groot, which was in Tales to Astonish number seven, no, number 13, Tales to Astonish 13. So yeah, so if you, you know, that book's a pricey big book, can't afford that and you wanna read the story, this is a great alternative to get it. 
Uh, great Jack Kirby cover. I believe Larry Lieber wrote the story. Wow, fire already. Uh, I don't usually do mystery boxes. I like to know where my money's going, but this is great already. So this is an Ant-Man uh, ticket. Um, it was an Ant-Man ticket for first showing experience, Regal Destiny, 484 out of 500. Uh, I'll have to look up the info on this, but uh, this is really cool. I didn't even know they gave these out. All right, next we have Nyx number one. I'll have to put the info uh, down below on this. Maybe this is her first ongoing solo, solo series. It's a variant edition. Um, not sure. We've got Hawkeye number one. Very cool modern book I can get into reading. Wonder Woman 759. Awesome cover. Again, I'm going to have to like put blurs up of uh, any kind of uh, importance of these books. But yeah, I don't collect any modern Wonder Woman, but I have, do have some Bronze Age ones I love. And the last book she sent is Stuff of Nightmares, number one. Tis the season. Wow. This is really cool. I like this a lot. This art. I can't wait to see who the cover artist is on this. He's all stitched together. I don't know if he's a zombie or if he's Frankenstein. But let's recap. So, Stuff of Nightmares, number one. Wonder Woman, 759. Hawkeye, number one. Nyx, number one. Where Monsters Dwell, number six. Yeah, this will be in the Halloween show giveaway for sure. Green Lantern, number 47. Great Silver Age cover. Wow, that's just beautiful. Uh, an Ant-Man movie ticket. And Thrawn. What a haul. Let me get it all together. Okay, like I said, I don't do many uh, mystery boxes, but this is far and away the best one I've ever got. Uh, curated very well. Uh, the value is there. I spent 50 bucks plus shipping and I threw in a little extra for the cause. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks to Tessa for this great box and for helping out uh, Jen. Everyone, you know, if you can spare five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever you have in your heart, hit the link below. Let's help this girl out. She's part of the community and this community really is the best. Uh, so really pumped about this mystery box. I can't wait to, to reach out to Tessa and tell her I opened it. Uh, guys, uh, coming up next week, I think I, I've got so much mail. I've got to do like, I think I'm going to just do a live unboxing solo. Just me uh, talking to the chat, showing up some books. I got some books from uh, Next Gen Collector, Comics with Stevie D, and I also got a slab I won off comic book Canon's uh, Fresh from the Comic Shop uh, picture contest. So stay tuned for that. October 26th uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Halloween show. Uh, trivia, giveaways, and a bunch of different content creators. Definitely a special host that night uh, with the most. So I hope you'll come hang out with me. Hope you guys have a great, uh, safe weekend. Until next time, keep reading those comics.